Hello, I'm Brainerd Carey, Director of Praxis Center, and today I want to talk about zines for artists, what that means, how to make a zine, and how it would help your, your, your career as an artist, how it would help getting your art out into the world. So what are zines? Zines are, are small publications, right, that are, that are anything that could be just like this. This is a small piece of 8.5 by 11 paper, essentially, that's stapled in the middle and done on a Xerox machine. In this case, uh, this artist has taken four sheets of 8x10 paper and simply, you know, written or put um, drawings on them and then stapled it together. So you get a form like this, right? This is by Matthew Langley. It's called Mixed Tape. Now, what's the idea of these zines? Why make them? Well, there's a number of reasons. One is it is a way of getting your work out into the world, and it's a way of having fun, right? Because these typically don't sell for money. These are given away. These are put into envelopes and mailed to places. So um, there's a number of, of things you can do with a zine. You could, and, and, and consider making them just in black and white, right? It's cheaper. There's a number of things you can do with them. You can also put drawings in there that are black and white. You can, you know, Xerox photographs if they come out well that are black and white. And then you can send these zines to different places, like, you know, for review in magazines, to friends, to dealers at galleries. You know, instead of having to make some kind of fancy, uh, expensive, trifold, you know, color brochure, a zine is a little more friendly. It's a little more uh, counterculture. It's a little more, a little edgier, you know. So this one, um, which is by um, another one by Matthew Langley, you know, it kind of it kind of pokes fun, right, at 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 the culture of what's what's you know good or not. He even um, makes one that kind of jokes about uh, a book by Jerry Saltz about how to be an artist. And on the back cover, he makes up quotes that says things like, this book sucks, Steve Martin. Um, <laughs> this book sucks, Cindy Sherman. So, you know, in, in this, he's kind of poking fun at how a critic tells an artist to be, right? Um, that can play out well, depending on, you know, who you're sending it to. It's, it's kind of fun. In, in this, he's, he's writing another zine called A History of... Uh, a History of particular colors and 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 there are uh, histories in here with quotes and and it also has a sense of humor so again your zine could be done in the same way xerox on eight and a half by eleven sheets of paper the way you kind of set it up is you take let's say three eight and a half by eleven sheets of paper fold them together and then kind of lay out your zine write what's going to be on each page or, you know, glue drawings on there and then have it copied, you know, at a copy shop. Or if you have a copier at work, use that. Um, that's the cheapest way to do it. And then you can either do it at the copy shop. They often have these big staplers, but you staple, put two staples in the spine. So again, what's the, what's the purpose of these, right? You know, in the, in the art world, we're often consumed with selling our art, with getting it out into the world, how are we going to get a gallery or how are we going to sell it? online. But an equally important uh, job of the artist and, and, and what's necessary as to kind of feed your, your soul and sense of, of wanting to share your work and having your work be seen is to make something like a zine. Because a zine is a way of sending your work out. Again, you could send it to critics, you could send it to writers, you could send it to museums, galleries. You know, it's kind of a, a lovely little gift that they're getting. And it doesn't have to be, uh, you know, with a bio in it or, or anything explanatory. It should be fun, you know. When, when I get, you know, something like this from Matthew Langley and it says mixed tape, I know it's going to be kind of fun to read inside there. There's going to be some writing, some images. Um, it kind of doesn't take itself that seriously. So, you know, you don't have to play it so straight, you know. It's, it's an underground form, really. It's a guerrilla form. Um, it's an anti-establishment form. And that's, that's kind of a, a, a break and a release for, for people receiving them because it'll make them smile and they'll look at it. It's a gift. You're sending them like a little book. It's a gift. But it's much less expensive to send 
than say, you know, trifold catalogs or larger pieces, uh, you know, in, in the mail. Also, of course, we don't get that much in the mail these days, right? Artists don't send out postcards anymore or announcements. Everything is by email. So when a gallerist or a curator or a critic, you know, gets one of your zines in the mail, you know, gets one of these that are in a little, you know, eight by 10, you know, actually five by seven envelope, um, you know, they're, they're, they're right away impressed. They've been given a little gift and, you know, you could put a cover letter in there that says something like, I've always admired your writing or, or I like the curating you do. Um, I just wanted to share this with you. And again, it's, it's kind of a gift. Um, there was one artist who told me um, that she, uh, and this was in the 70s, that, uh, and who's now a very well-known artist. Uh, she does pretty disturbing images often of faces that kind of look like they're, they're melting. Um, she said she was having a hard time getting her work out there as a, as a woman in the 70s and as an artist. And what she did was she started making zines just like this, right? And, and she put black and white copies, Xeroxes, of her paintings that looked like sort of faces melting in agony. And she said, I'd send them to writers, I'd send them to, to critics, I'd send them to friends. And she said, occasionally I'd get an email response back that said something like, please don't darken my mailbox anymore with these disturbing images. It ruined my day. And she said, I took that as a compliment. My work was reaching someone. Yes, it was about being, you know, disturbed. It was about psychological disturbance. And so there's an artist who, um, you know, really got her work out there in an environment that was sexist, that was, um, you know, very difficult to break into as a woman. And before long, people started knowing who this was. This was a voice that is new, that we haven't heard of before, and it was exciting. So what I'm suggesting in this video is that you make a zine if you want to. It's fun. You can do a collaborative zine. You can do it with a friend or two friends. Say, let's make a zine together. Come up with a name for it, you know, and, um, and then just put things in there that are fun. It's not about a resume or a bio or obvious self-promotion. It's just about having fun, just like he did with this one, where he's kind of making fun of a critic who's telling an artist what to do. And, you know, in this, in this case, he, he really has a great time with it. Um, and it's a way of commenting on, on not only, you know, culture, but also uh, commenting on critics and their relationship with artists. But it doesn't have to be that heady, but it should be fun. It shouldn't be about self-promotion. It should be about something that just makes people smile. They get it and they think, wow, you know, this is interesting. Um, and of course, your name is on there. And again, you could put a cover letter in there. And um, and in that cover letter, you could say something like, you know, to the who, the who it is, the curator, you know, and say, I've admired what you're doing and I'm sending you this because I thought you might enjoy it. Something simple like that. You could do one a month, you could do one a week, you could do one every two months. See if you like the format, see if you like doing it. But it's kind of a nice uh, process because you can really get into it in terms of making them by hand, in terms of writing right on the pages, and then just Xeroxing them. They're multiples and they're cheap. So again, I hope this was um, inspiring in some ways, especially now, um, in the decade of 2020s and beyond. Mail is being used less and less frequently, and for artists to, to kind of use mail in this form to allow people to get something in the mail that they like, it will make their day, most likely. It'll make them smile, and you will stand out as an artist, as opposed to sending emails, which I also encourage, and email is the dominant, right, professional form. But zines are fun. You can have fun making them, and they very well might open doors to um, to new to new relationships that could be very beneficial to you. So if you're making a zine or decide to make one, I'd, I'd love to hear about it in the comments below um, because I'd love to see what you're doing. I, I I love to get zines in the mail. There's a there's a curator in L.A. who made his own zine called Ant. Um, I interviewed once Seymour Poland, and he. Um, just creates a kind of envelope that he puts different writings in by different artists. And he's a writer and, 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 and uh, um, a curator, and he could easily write in other magazines, 
but he doesn't like the context of those magazines. He'd like to just do his own writing in his own way. So what he does is a little bit of writing, but also he asks an artist to design the envelope. Or he asks an artist to put a 8.5 by 11 sheet in there that has some art or writing on it. So he's curating with a little envelope. And, and, and an envelope, I'm talking about legal size envelope, is what he used. And he calls his zine or his newsletter Ant. You know, so there's many ways of using this form, and it stands out, and it's exciting um, because it's fun to do. It's handmade, and um, and it communicates, and it could get you uh, pretty far in terms of your art being enjoyed by new audiences. I hope this was helpful. Um, would love to see your zine if you make one.